Question number 10, Bill Twyford. Order. Bill Twyford. My question is for the Minister for Social Housing. Was she responsible for the advice to the Prime Minister that Ministry of Social Development officials accompanied the Salvation Army to visit homeless people in South Auckland's Bruce Pullman Park? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. And Mr Speaker, yes. I told the Prime Minister that MSD was working in conjunction with NGOs, including the Salvation Army, to reach out to homeless people to see if they could offer assistance. I was not sufficiently clear that MSD were coordinating the activities and making staff available after hours to deal with any issues as they arose. He was 100% correct that the Salvation Army reported to MSD after the first night that of all the people they engaged, none wanted MSD's help. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why hasn't she apologised for misusing the good name of the Salvation Army to try and blame homeless people for their plight and her failed housing policy? Hear, hear. Mr Speaker. Order. Order. Uh, the Honourable Sorry. Paula Bennett. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, um, actually the mistake that was made was certainly me not being clear enough that MSD were not actively with the Salvation Army. But actually we have had a number of NGOs that were out last week, including MSD, who were at the Auckland City Mission. And the purpose of these visits was to engage homeless people as had been identified and make sure that they were connected to the support that they can get. What we did find from those visits was that most people didn't actually want to engage. Order. 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 Can the, the House settle to give Mr Twyford a fair go at answering his supplementary questions? Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. How many people have accepted the government's $3,000 offer to move to Auckland to get a job and have now applied to take up her $5,000 offer to move out of Auckland to get a house. <laughs> Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr Speaker, none, because that wouldn't be possible under the policy settings. Supplementary. Supplementary question, <laughs> Alfred Nardo. Order. Order. Carmel Cipollone, that is your last warning for today. Yes. Alfred Nardo, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why is MSD organising the mobile team activities? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula well, Bennett. Mr Speaker, I asked... Well, Mr Speaker, I asked MSD to coordinate with experienced NGOs to talk with homeless people to gauge their social housing needs. Also to look at if we can give them assistance with food grants, to make sure that they are on the social housing register, if they were there, if they had the right um, priority rating. Mr Speaker, um, this is, has come about because we saw the need that was there and wanted to actively engage with them. Okay. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Alfred Nardo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What else is the government doing to help vulnerable people with housing needs? Well, Mr Speaker... The Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr Speaker, we spend around $34 million every week to subsidise more than 470,000 New Zealanders in social housing, private rentals and even those on low income with some of their mortgage payments. That is around $2 billion every year, Mr Speaker, up 53% from $1.3 billion when we took office. Order, order. If you want further warnings to start, I can do that. But the Minister's been asked a question. It's an order, order question, so I want to hear the answer. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Speaker, we place 134 tenants and their families into social housing on average every week. In a first for New Zealand, we are spending over $41 million on 3,000 emergency housing places around the country. We are also freeing up places... We are Order, just a little. Get, look, get a supplementary question if you really want one. So, plus, we're freeing up social housing through tenancy reviews, Mr. Speaker, to make sure that those who are in real need can get those houses. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. 
How can she maintain her get out of town announcement wasn't a media driven stunt when she said, and I quote, in the last few days, I think we just, certainly from the media putting the attention on it, and you're seeing people that are living in those sort of circumstances, I just want to do whatever we can, and I think this is a way for me to get the message out to them that there is help available. The Honourable Mr Paula Mr Bennett. Speaker, that sounds like a fantastic statement, um, that there actually is help available and we want to make sure that we are getting to them. Uh, Mr Speaker, since that um, statement of the relocating out of Auckland that we've been working on for over five months, actually we've had 130 people that have made inquiries about it and that we're working closely with. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Will she admit that solving homelessness is just not her priority, given that her get-out-of-town policy was clearly a last-minute gimmick, and she made up a story involving the Salvation Army to blame homeless people for their own plight. That's right. Mr Speaker. Order. Yeah. Order. Well, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr Speaker, I refute both of those um, statements. Actually, we're working with the Salvation Army, who do a great job. Um, actually, addressing housing needs for vulnerable people in New Zealand is a priority, and the member can get up and postulate all he likes, but actually, we're going to do something. Entry. <laughs> Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Will she apologise to the Salvation Army? Mr. The Speaker, Honourable Paula Bennett. I have nothing to apologise for. Order. Order. Question. Order. Order, Mr. English. Order. Order. Mr. Twyford, I'm calling for order from both front benches. Maureen Pugh, question number 11.